and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in this video lesson you will learn some words related to free time. Well, we all have free time and we all do some activities during our free time. These free time activities can also be called as hobbies. So we are going to learn some words related to free time and hobbies. Let's get started. Well, some of you may like to watch TV. It may be your free time activity. So watching TV is my hobby. Or you can say, in my free time, I watch TV. Or you can say, I enjoy watching TV. I like to watch TV. The second thing you can say is, I like reading books. I like reading books. I enjoy reading books. I like to read books. Or you can simply say, my hobby is reading. And some of you may have the hobby of cooking. So cooking new dishes. So you can say, I love cooking. I like trying out new dishes. Or you can simply say, cooking is my hobby. And some of you may like sports. So you can say, I'm interested in sports or I do sports, I love sports, I play tennis in my free time or I play football in my free time or I like to play chess in my free time. So there are different ways of expressing what you do in your free time. Now there's some other words that you can learn are photography. So some of you may be interested in taking pictures of nature. So you can say, I love to take pictures of nature. I love to take pictures of children. I love to take pictures of people. So you can say, photography is my hobby. The next thing is traveling. Well, some of you may like to travel and see different places. So you can say, I love traveling because I can meet new people and I can also see people in different cultures. I can learn about different cultures. So traveling is my hobby. And the next thing is of course singing and dancing which are very very common. You can say singing and dancing are my hobbies or you can simply say I love to sing songs. I like dancing. I enjoy dancing. And the next few hobbies or free time activities are painting. Well, some of you may be very good at drawing and painting. So you can take that as your hobby. You can say, I love painting. I love drawing pictures. Or you can simply say, drawing and painting are my hobbies. The next thing is hiking. Hiking is walking. Some, some of you may enjoy walking amidst nature in the mid middle of nature you love to walk so you can say I like hiking so hiking is another word for walking and the next word is trekking trekking is to climb mountains there are some people who do trekking as a hobby so if you like climbing mountains you can say trekking is my hobby or I love trekking then you can also take up other hobbies or you can do other hobbies like gardening. Gardening is a very wonderful hobby. I'm interested in gardening. So you can also say why you like gardening. I like gardening because I can grow some nice flowers. I can know some, grow some vegetables in my garden. So gardening is my hobby. The next thing is collecting things. Some people collect things like stamps. Stamp collecting is a very, very, uh, in, uh, very interesting hobby. And then some people also collect coins, coin collecting. So stamp collecting is also called as philately. And coin collecting is called numismatics. So some of you may be interested in collecting stamps or coins. And some people even collect idols. They collect antique things some old things. So these are all very, very interesting hobbies. And some of them have a very beautiful hobby called bird watching. Some of you may be interested in this. 
well bird watching is to watch all the birds in your own backyard and then observe their habits observe their food habits flying habits nesting habits so some people love bird watching bird watching is an interesting hobby so they have bird feeders in their backyard in their houses and they watch the birds that come from different places they try to name them this is called as bird watching and the next hobby is swimming swimming as you know is very good for health swimming walking jogging there are also free time activities so swimming is my hobby because it keeps me very fit and the next hobby you can talk about is <coughs> jewelry making now this is a very nice hobby where you can use some beads and use your imagination to make jewelry all kinds of fashion jewelry so that's very interesting and the next word is sewing sewing is to stitch sewing is stitch and how do you pronounce this s e w i n g you pronounce it as sewing it's not sewing so sewing is also a hobby and it can be a very useful hobby because you can stitch and you can even sell what you stitch you can sew clothes you can sew your own bags you can sew your own dresses as well it's a very interesting hobby and the next one is scrapbooking scrapbooking is to collect different kinds of pictures on different themes and put them in a scrapbook so that's also a very very interest interesting hobby and the next one is playing a musical instrument like guitar piano keyboard or violin and different kinds of instruments so you can learn how to play a musical instrument and say i love music and i can play a musical instrument i can play the guitar i can play the violin so that's also a very interesting hobby and the next thing is fishing some people like to go fishing to a pond or a lake and then have nets to catch fish that's also a hobby and the next one is animal care what is animal care animal care is about having pets feeding the birds feeding some animals like dogs cats and taking care of them so that's also a very interesting hobby and it's a very nice hobby because you're helping animals and you're taking care of them taking care of your environment you can also grow trees even trees uh is you know trees give us so many things so we can take care of trees as well and the next one is surfing the net some people like to see the internet they like to browse the net and collect different kinds of information that's also a free time activity and the next one is volunteer work what is volunteer work you go and help that is also called as social work you go and do some free service you do some community work where you clean up the community or you create some awareness and this is called as volunteering or volunteer work or even social work and the next one is socializing so what is socializing socializing is about make, meeting new people some people like to be like to make friends new friends all the time and meet different people and talk to different people and then have a get together so this type of a hobby or a free time activity is called socializing and the next one is shopping some people love to do shopping so you can say i love to do shopping in a shopping mall because there are many interesting things in a shopping mall or a supermarket and i love to see all of them i like to do window shopping what is window shopping you don't really buy anything you only look at all the things in the market or the shop and the next one is paper craft well you can take colored paper and make interesting things like flowers plants and other things and you can even have them in your vase you can have those uh, paper craft work uh, put in a vase in your own home and decorate your home you can decorate your own home with paper craft and of course the next one is beekeeping some people keep bees they keep bees and they collect honey from the bees beehive so that's also an interesting hobby and you can also sell the honey and the next one is sand art sand art is a hobby where you make models out of sand that's a very very interesting a difficult one 
very creative hobby. And of course, the next one is learning new languages. Learning new languages is also a very, very interesting hobby because you can now, when you can talk many languages, you understand many things. You can watch movies of different languages. So it's also a hobby to learn many languages. A person who can speak many, many languages is called a polyglot. He is called a polyglot. And the last uh, hobby that we would be talking about is video gaming. So many of you may be interested in video gaming. There are many beautiful games and we also have virtual games these days where you can actually feel that you are playing in a, uh, in a place, in the real place. So the 3D games and 4D games which are very interesting. So what is your hobby? We all must have a hobby or a free time activity. It makes us get a lot of information. It makes us learn new things. It also makes us meet more people. It helps us use our time very usefully and it also attracts people around us. When we have a hobby, people definitely make friends with us. They love our company and you also feel very, very, uh, you know, you find a very good way of spending your free time. So I'm sure you have learnt very beautiful words today and I'm sure you'll choose one hobby for yourself to spend your time usefully. So we are sure you have learnt the different words and you liked this video. Do learn these words and do like, share and subscribe to this video and we will come back with more, more interesting videos. And see you soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.